Hello friends, this video on determinant part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 30. Last property, the most complex property, says that, don't read everything, just understand this. For any row i, you say row i plus some constant into row j, or for any column i, you say column i plus sub constant into column j, right? In that case, the determinant value is same. It doesn't even change. No change. I can explain you how I can prove you. But just remember this. For any row, you add the row with some other row by multiplying the, row, the other row with some constant or you take a column, you take another column, you multiply the second column with some constant and add to the first column, replace with the first column itself, then the value doesn't change. So to prove, let's assume that we have one determinant. And this determinant we got by, uh, we have this row 1, row 1 is nothing but row 1 plus k into row 3. With this operation I got this because a1 becomes a1 plus k into c1, a2 becomes a2 plus k into c2, a3 becomes a3 plus k into c3. That's how I got this value. Other elements are same. Now to prove that both are same, this is same. Now I'll prove it again. One approach is the crude approach. You can just expand it and try to solve it, but that becomes complex. To ease my life, what I can do is let me take this guy row one and break this because since the last property says that if a row or column is written as a sum of two numbers, I can split this determinant. So this guy is nothing but a1, b1, c1. I'm taking the first part now. Right? A2, b2, c2. And a3, b3, c3. I took all these values. On this I'm saying plus. This guy becomes k c1, b1, c1, k c2, b2, c2, k c3, b3 c3 correct now if i further i can apply some rule on this what i can do is i'll show you first let me write this because anyway i have to prove that this is equal to this guy only a, sorry even even a2 b3 b1 b2 b3 c1 c2 c3 so i have to prove that row 1 is equal to row that is this guy only i have to prove that this guy is zero actually that's what my goal is because if I prove this guy is going to zero, I'm done. What you can see is k is a common here in all the values in this first row. So I'll take k common. With this, I'll see that they are same row one and row three. So if you see, I can show you c1, c2, c3. This guy is b1, b2, b3. And this becomes c1, c2, c3. Now if you see, this guy is same, this row and this row is same. Since they are same, I can say that this guy is 0, so this guy becomes 0. Since this guy becomes 0, k into 0 is also 0. So there is nothing here. The only thing that is here is this. This is nothing but my positive here. So I have proved that determinant is equal to determinant 1. Simple. Just using property I have proved. So this is nothing but application of the properties which we have learned. Please note, I want to repeat the same thing which I have done now. So if this determinant is obtained by some operation, row 1 is equal to you know, row 1 plus k row 1 or something like that. See there is a difference here. The difference here is see, if my row 1 is obtained by multiplying row 1 itself by some constant, then if you see determinant 1 is nothing but k into determinant. But if my determinant 1 is obtained by row i is row i plus k into r j or c i is c i plus k into c j. In that case, in that case, my row 1 is equal to, I mean, determinant 1 is equal to determinant itself. But, see the difference here is, here in this case, 
I am multiplying constant with some other row. This is other row. This is also other. But in this case, I am multiplying constant with same row, same column. So, if you say R i is equal to k into R i in the same row or column, if you multiply, then your determinant also says k into this. But if you say R i is equal to R i plus some other row into constant, then your value doesn't change. Please note, this is a critical concept here. Don't be confused. If you say R i is equal to k into R i or C i is equal to k into C i, then the determinant you get the new one is k into the old determinant. But if you say R i is equal to R i plus some other R j into k, then determinant value is same. Okay, understood? So make sure that if you are multiplying some constant with the same row, same row or same column, then it is new determinant is k times old determinant. But if you are multiplying row or uh, some constant to some other row or column and then adding it, then it is same. So here we have to solve without even expanding and we have to prove that this is zero. So how to approach this question? Please pay attention here because the next five, six questions are a little tricky and a little difficult because there you, you need not solve using the traditional method. There you have to think which all property to be applied and then you have to solve. So here we have to prove it to be zero. So we know that a determinant is zero if any of the two rows or two columns are identical or proportional. So if I can somehow prove that row 1 is identical to row 2 or row 1 is identical to row 3 or column 1 is identical to column 2 or column 2 is identical to column 3 I can prove that they are it is 0 but I can see that they are not identical now but can I make them identical by applying some property let's see so if you observe this carefully and in such kind of question we have to apply a similar approach if we add these guys let's suppose this is column 1 column 2 and column 3. If you add column 1 and column 2, what do you get? a minus b plus b minus c is a minus c. And this is c minus a. That is, I mean, the ratio is minus 1. b minus c and c minus a, if you add, you get b minus a. And this guy is a minus b. Ratio is minus 1. c minus a and a minus b, if you add, you get c minus b and this is b minus c. The ratio is minus 1. That is, what we can think now? If we can, say that c1 is equal to c1 plus c2 that is doable because the property 6 itself says that we can say that uh, c1 is equal to c1 plus k into c2 where k is equal to 1 so c1 is equal to c1 plus c2 so in that case my new column which I will get after that operation will be proportional so that is the step I think we can try so we try that that will make our step or we can even C2 and C3 also we can try. If you say B minus C plus C minus C, this becomes B minus A. And that is A minus B. The proportion is minus 1. C minus A, A minus B, add, this becomes C minus B. This is B minus C. Again, the proportion is minus 1. A minus B plus B minus C becomes A minus C, and this is C minus A. Proportion is minus 1. So you can do anything. You can say C1 is equal to C1 plus C2, or you can say C2 is equal to C2 plus any of these. We'll solve our purpose because we want to make two column identical. Or we can do the same thing in row also. So I just pick column, my wish. So what I'm trying to do is I'm saying C1 is equal to C1 plus C2 now. With this, the new value of C1 will be proportional to C3. I'll show you. So I'm saying C1 is equal to C1 plus C2. This guy becomes A1, A minus B plus b minus c this guy becomes b minus c plus c minus a this guy becomes c minus a plus a minus b c minus a plus other elements are c b minus c c minus a a minus b c minus a a minus b and b minus we solve this further this is nothing but minus b plus b cancel minus c plus c cancel minus c plus c cancel 
is a minus c correct this is b minus a this is c minus b this is b minus c c minus a means rewriting it a minus b this is c minus a this is a minus b and this is b minus a so what you can see that if you compare this column with this column if you see they are proportional right a minus c c minus a b minus a a minus b c minus b and b minus c they are proportional and i told that if the two rows are proportional two columns are proportional the value is zero correct so since the rows are proportional the value is zero and that is my answer why because column one is proportional to column two thus i can say that sorry column three these two columns are proportional since the columns are proportional i can say that the whole determinant is zero let's take one more example here also thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again